There we go. Record. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just, I yes. love it. Yes. Yes. So, you know, engage and make a difference where you can. There will right. be people who will have large platforms that they will use to deliver their message. That is the divine guidance to which they've been called. Then there are other, other you know, others, right, um, who may have a smaller platform, a smaller reach, and that is perfect as well. The important thing is that we are actually engaged in meaningful action to, to dismantle and upend these systems of oppression, which not only just affect, you know, uh, Black, Indigenous people and other people of color, but it affects us all. Right. It affects us all. And this conversation that we're having, this chaos and confusion, this, I say, beautiful chaos and confusion and unrest that we're experiencing, mm -hmm. it touches all of us. It touches all of us. No one is exempt. No. So we there all isn't. have work to do. Right. And I know that there isn't one woman that is in this group or that I know that hasn't experienced being silenced and the oppression. But to now wake up to the other stories too, right? The stories of, okay, you know, do that, it, it, be, be a woman or, or a male and be colored, right? Mm -hmm. Or indigenous, as you had said, and then try yeah. and try and pick yourself up and feel yourself worth. Like that's, that's what I've been really fascinated with too and, and admiring is the amount of conviction and spirit that these people are coming up and saying, you know what, you know, I deserve more. And that's hard for anyone to do, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let alone being put in the side lane, right? Yes, yes, yeah. Absolutely. Listen, um, you know, one of the most powerful tools that I've learned this week, um, I was watching Ra Goddess on Tuesday, mm -hmm. and uh, she made a point, and she was specifically talking to, to white men, but I think it's relevant for all of us. She said that there are a lot of good people who are hiding, right? Hiding because they're afraid of you know, the, the reception of their views. Uh, they're hiding because perhaps if they speak out, their career and subsequently their income may be affected. Um, reputations may be questioned. And so people are, are hiding. And folks are also hiding because they feel immobilized, right? I don't know what to, to do. I don't know what to say. This is all so unfamiliar. And her point was that when we sit down and we pray, when we pray and when we meditate, we need to ask the universe and thank God for calling these people to the forefront. Right. Calling them to the forefront to be engaged and to act. And yes, the fear will be present, but to call them forth anyway to do it afraid. Right. Because it's, it's, it's messy. It's ugly work. You know, when we talk about isms, right? When we talk mm -hmm. about homophobia, when we talk about racism, when we talk about sexism, that makes so many of us uncomfortable because many times we don't have the experience nor do we have the language to really articulate effectively to to hold space to to have these discussions mm -hmm. um but what Ra really challenged and encouraged us to do, and it's the same message that I've been speaking about for you know the past couple of months, look you are going to mess up. It is going to be ugly. 
you're going to make a mistake. You're going to say the wrong thing. Someone is going to be offended by what you say. <laughs> right? So and true. that is okay. It is okay. The important thing is that you are speaking. And whenever we misspeak, whenever we have an error or a lapse in judgment, the important thing is that we learn from that because we're all growing, but we don't grow unless we're willing to make mistakes and to learn. And I know mistakes have a negative con connotation, so I try to limit my, my use of the word. I just okay. refer to uh, mistakes as opportunities for learning because that's exactly what they are. They are. They mm -hmm. are, they're blessings. They're very much blessings. I just said yeah. that this morning reading cards it was like the 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 contrast the struggle the challenges are blessings that show us where we can grow how mm -hmm. we can keep going up leveling because that's that's a big that's a big part of of this growth is the mm -hmm. continual okay show me more let's go <laughs> yes yeah. yes yes yeah that's a beautiful message and i love how you said before um, that we grow through our individual interactions, that we, you know, through those connections, through those one-on-one -on -one conversations mm -hmm. are where we, we grow. We're, we're very communicative social beings, and that mm -hmm. is what we need to do. We need to be talking, and we need to have yes. these conversations in order to grow and, and expand our awareness of, mm -hmm. of compassion, too. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. And I say yeah. that to my students all the time in the classroom. It's like through conversations that we learn, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And through, and through art, you know, I mean, there is so much nonverbal communication that is equally as powerful, you know? So yeah, that, if, that beautiful intentional energy. Yes. Right? That, yeah. That's the thing. So when you're going into a conversation with someone and you're afraid of, what you might say, it's just get clear on your intention. Mm -hmm. And yes. it will it will unfold. Beautifully. Yeah. The way it's supposed to, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. It will unfold as uh as it needs to unfold. And yes. um, you know, I think um as we sit with this discomfort as we kind of grapple with this this change and growth it's really really important for each person to be compassionate and gentle with themselves and compassionate and gentle and patience with with others right yes. first we first we need to extend that to ourselves and as we extend it to ourselves then we're able to more powerfully extend it and embrace it with 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 others, right? So that's yeah. uh that's the first thing that I want to say. And then pray. Yeah. Pray. Ask for guidance. Uh you mentioned that the veil, the gates, the portal is wide open. I am there with you, my sister. Trust me. <laughs> like, I mean, the I the veil has been completely lifted. And so now is just a beautiful opportunity for anyone who chooses to connect with the divine. Now is the time to sit still and to listen and to foster that connection because the universe, God, is responding in rapid manner. I mean, we are seeing massive yes, manifestations so happening so quickly. Right, yes. things that we think about, it's just, it's just happening. Um, and so now is such a beautiful time for to ask for guidance because God wants to guide us, and He wants us, or she, or it wants us to exercise our free will in the spirit of of that divinity, right? Um, and so it's so important for us right now to 
to sit still, to get quiet, to ask, and to listen. And what we may receive, the answers that we may receive may be very uncomfortable, may be very unfamiliar. However, we have to practice trusting that intuitive voice, right? Those intuitive nudges, and then exercise obedience. Amen. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. it just so you are speaking my words. That's yeah. 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 Beautiful. And and so I love when you said that, you know, because this is it is wide open and the veil has lifted and the gateway is open, now is the time for you to sit. Because that, mm -hmm. you know, I've been I've been doing this for twenty five years in meditation and spiritual development and awareness and more. <laughs> yes. Um, and I'll say I'm longer, really, but we don't need to talk about age. <laughs> <laughs> you're beautiful. Thank Let you. me assure you, you're beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely radiant, my I'm sister. Not, Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> you're sweet. The, <laughs> but the the sitting now for the people that even are just starting. If you've never sat in meditation before, you've never, you know, had any luck or success, now is the time to do it because now you will hear so much easier mm -hmm. and quicker. You're so right. It, the messages are coming through loud and clear. The guidance mm -hmm. is there loud and clear. Yes. And there is a higher purpose for all of this. Like you're just mm -hmm. a little piece, a little teeny tiny little ant in the whole big picture. But yes. the power that we hold within each of us is what moves us forward. It is our mm -hmm. force together that is moving us forward. And so yes. um, connecting with you today, that was, that was my, my intention was like, we need each other to, yes. to keep going forward. So I am, I'm like right here for you. And, and I will, I think that since I started the recording, you need to actually tell people what you're doing so that they can send people. Because the last time when we talked in, Kripalo, you were creating a platform for men. Mm -hmm, Is that mm -hmm. still with the direction that you're going? So I mean, people in partially. general, but yeah. Okay. You go ahead. Yeah, tell us. yeah absolutely. Um, partially, you know, I was to launch my podcast, Bro Tell That, um, back on the 24th of, of May, which happens to also have been my father's 65th birthday. And the podcast was designed to address the emotional and mental health and intelligence and stability of, of men who um, suffer inordinately from the adverse effects of, of the ego, right? Of the of the thinking rational mind. So my whole my whole purpose was okay, let's get back into this hard space. Let's dwell there for a little bit and, um, and proceed from there, right? Um, however, I received the message, this was during my, my healing and rest period. And so um, very clearly dropped in my spirit, don't do it. Not now, postpone. Little did I know, you know, a few weeks fast forward, I was going to have this conversation with Gabby and other opportunities to, to come up. Um, so what I'm doing now is I am collaborating with a fellow Spirit Junkie member. Her name is uh, Rachel Stevenson Bragg. And we are in the initial stages of putting together a video cast um, that addresses the process of doing the the inner work and we thought it was just so important to have just two regular old folks who are in the process 
<laughs> of doing this work to speak to it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because yeah. like we yeah. we have Gabby, we have Marie, we have Tim yeah. Robbins, Jay Shetty. They yeah. seem oh, so yeah. removed. You know what I'm saying to us, to many of us. They seem so removed. Like, oh, yeah. okay, they're they're way they're way up here. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They have experience. They have years underneath their yeah. belt. So totally. we were just like, you know what? Look, we are in the initial phases of our cracking open. Right? We have some experience under our belt. We have some time. So now let's reach back and guide folks through the process to to where we are, right? So as we evolve, <laughs> folks will continue to, to evolve, evolve. And we thought it would just be really, really nice um, to present this from a place of true authenticity um, and through great clarity and transparency to let folks know like hey you know we're we're equals we're doing this and we want you to not only take your journey your own individual journey but join us for hours right just two regular old folks just two regular old folks talking about <laughs> doing the work right <laughs> and holding that vulnerable space yes. yeah well, and I have yeah. to share with you that that is the message that I was getting to in my rest period. So earlier when we were talking, we were talking about how we both got the message of just wait, just relax, just rest, just heal before, like when COVID first hit before you move forward. So the, the message coming through for me right now is to go back and pick up, uh, pull together all the pieces of my beginning training and mm. bring that forward because, because I am speaking to people right now and teaching from where I am now, but I haven't really gone back and said, okay, here's how I started. Um, <laughs> my grandson just came running in. Here's how I started. And, and these are, these are the very basic steps to what I did. So let's go back and do that together. And so mm -hmm. it's cool that you're, you've got the very, it just shows us one love, right? Yes. <laughs> one, one, one love. humanity. <laughs> so, one humanity. Yeah, yes. there is, a, there is so only one thing. One message. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. We, yep. We, are, we, are, we are all it. And so this collaboration is just another um, opportunity, another prong of attack, if you will, um, an introduction into doing the work through very, you know, real and, and a transparent uh, lens. So right. that's so going to be... Oh, so we actually say, tell us where it is and how to yeah get it if they want. absolutely so um we are actually going to launch we haven't determined a specific date but it will be within the next 30 to 60 days and it'll be a simulcast on facebook live uh as well as um instagram live and we're going to try to see if we can get it through youtube as well to sim simulcast through all of those uh through all of those platforms but uh, certainly within the next 30 to 60 days, there will be announcements coming out, um, you know, advertisements to let folks know like, hey, join us, join us on this journey. Right. So if anyone is looking, um, just know that I will post it in, um, in public places. And I'll certainly send uh, an invite, a message to you so that you can Perfect. distribute to, uh, to your group. But uh, the name of the series is uh, called No BS, right? Yeah. And, and BS stands for bypasser syndrome right because oh. we have a lot of <laughs> bypassing going on right now so we're we're calling it out we're like hey no bs My no bs <laughs> yeah that's right you gotta wait right through it <laughs> so good. that's yeah. where the that's where the gold is <laughs> mm -hmm. Love it, right? right right yeah. in the middle of it so that's cool um, okay yeah so more more to follow there and of course 
Um, folks can follow me on the ver various social media platforms. I'm on Instagram at so work brother with an so A, you know. Yes. Thank you for the follow. I saw that oh, this yeah. morning. I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna follow her back. Well, I was like, I'm following you on Facebook <laughs> since, right. since we met back November, mm -hmm. but yes. I didn't on Instagram. So when I was watching that interview with Gabby, I'm like, oh, why am I not uh, following Demario? <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, done. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. So you can, yeah. you can find me on Instagram. I have um, a dedicated YouTube channel for One Minute Moto as well, and Moto is spelled M-O-T-O. -O. Um, and of course, you can send me a Facebook request. I'm on LinkedIn. I right. upload content videos all the right. time across all these platforms. So yeah. um, if anyone is looking for me, they can definitely find me. And I am yeah. here to just encourage, support, and, and uplift because this is what we need at this it time. Is. You know, it there's is. a lot of division. There's a lot of hate. There's a lot of heat, right? There's a lot of oppression. And those of us who have chosen to answer the call, we really have a responsibility to use all of our platforms and resources to really elevate the conversation, elevate the discussion. Right. And that is yeah. what it's about, right? Elevating mm -hmm. consciousness yes. in the world, right? Yes. 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 So beautiful. So wonderful to catch up with you. <laughs> Did not intend this to be a recorded interview. I'm so glad we caught all of that so we can share it out yes. to everyone in my community and beyond. Yes. Mario, I, I, once again, I'm so excited for you and what's unfolding. I'm so Thank happy you. for you. Thank you Thank for you. being here. Wow. And and yeah stay in touch and any way you need if you need more plugs put out in other areas just let me know and we'll yeah put them out. yeah absolutely and thank you uh thank you janice thank you for just reaching out you know and saying hey i really enjoy watching the video um and giving me feedback that means that absolutely hi this is Hi, um, handsome. <laughs> this is my grandson come to visit. So he's a little, a little cameo on the video here. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yes, let's 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 start them young. Let's teach them while right. they're young, That's right? right. <laughs> he's just picking up on all of this good heart-centered energy. So I'm blasting yes. it out to him. Yes. Receive it. Receive it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You can't so hear me because I have my headphones in, but um, Yes. <laughs> well, I hope he can. I hope he can uh, see and, and feel the love, you know, uh, oh. from from my heart to his, for sure. Thank but, you. Um, Thank you. Yeah, we'll definitely we'll definitely continue the conversation. We'll continue yeah. the collaboration. This for is just sure. really the first of the first of many, and so yeah. you know, as you support me, I choose to support you as well. Um, and because I think it's really, really important that people see that we can come from different experiences and different backgrounds and still have a very authentic, heart-centered mm. conversation. The beautiful tapestry of our world, right? Mm -hmm. Intricate yes. design that every little soul, every big soul, every little soul, you know, contributes to. And when mm -hmm. you close your eyes, it is beautiful lights all over the world. Mm -hmm. It's just lamps lighting up and the light rippling out into the shadows. So yes. Yes. thank you. And no, yeah, I love you. to bring people into their creative flow because that is the divine light, the di mm -hmm. divine life force within us. Um, so just uh, stay in touch. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. And thank you so much for uh for having me and uh you know people who need to see this video, uh they will they will see it. The message yep. will be broadcast and uh you know I know that hearts will be touched 
um, minds, emotions will be healed. And um, I'm just thankful for that. I'm just putting that out there right now. I am thankful for all the healing um, yes. that is going to occur as a result of our authentic conversation. So oh, thank you for uh, allowing me to share this, this space with you as we You're hold so welcome. people. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. You keep going. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. I will talk to you later, Janice. Thank you, you once again. Love, Love you, you so much, my sister. Bye, Demario. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>